Seizure types have such complicated names because their names have evolved over time from times when there was very little information known about epilepsy or the underlying brain problem to more recent times when we now have the advantage of knowing so much more. In the middle of the last century, there were only limited names used. Grand mal and petit mal were the names that we used to describe seizures. But as we have learned more and more about the causes of epilepsy, we have an increasing number of names for seizures of different types and due to di different causes. The advances in genetic discoveries and in imaging the brain has thrown so much light on the different epilepsies that different names have been generated to better distinguish epilepsies of different causes. It does not really matter whether you can remember the names of your child's seizures. In fact, in many instances, doctors might disagree on the right name that should be used. And this can even happen at the level of international epileptology experts who are discussing patients and their seizures. What matters most is that you can provide a clear and accurate description of the symptoms and signs that occur when a seizure starts and as it evolves, as it is this information that is critical to help doctors determine what treatment might work and what tests could be done. You can call your seizure a dizzy or a drop or a fuzzy head if you want, so long as your doctor is able to find out what the actual symptoms and signs of that seizure are. These days, most doctors find it most helpful to see videos of seizures so they can see for themselves what's occurring. Videos can be taken easily on mobile phones, which are usually easy to grab in the event of an unexpected seizure.